Hey y'all, today we might have a, an interesting video or not an interesting video. We'll figure it out. Uh, but this is a 6500 SS right there. It's having issues with the drag. Now, I haven't opened it up yet. So we're going to do it together. First, we're going to take that off and see what's going on. First part is this. And if it's just that, you'll never see this video. So, let's hope it's more than that. Uh, I'm going to pop these things out just to look at them. If I can. Uh, the first thing I'm trying to figure out right here is why that retaining ring uh, was loose. And it looks like the groove is okay enough to support it. But we do have that washer on the bottom that's frozen. So I'm just going to kind of work at getting that out, but I'm also cleaning up the uh, that hole or that groove where this sits to see if it can support it. Alright, so I'm just going to work on popping it out. Uh, if it takes too long, then I will Pause the camera, as always. And I'm thinking it will, so. So I, I'll kind of narrate what I do here. Um, whenever something's frozen like this, I will try that popping action first. That'll normally some sometimes it are normally free it up and let, let it pop out. That doesn't work. There's obviously gonna be some stuff around here that's stopping it. But you gotta be careful because you don't want to scratch that the the metal washer. But I'm gonna scrape around the edge. And this is a really fine um, flathead screwdriver. So I guess I'll just play it. And you guys can either be bored or fascinated or interested in what I'm doing. Of course you can't see everything, but And worst case scenario, if you actually damage this, you can always replace it. Uh, these aren't that difficult to find at this point in time. But the preference would be not to damage it, of course. Alright, let's try some other stuff. This is a very... Um, Kind of just like that. I don't want to get too hot in there because there's like a rubber insert that could get damaged. But I'm aiming it straight on the metal. Alright, there we go. Up it comes, and this is the rubber part or rubbery kind of part that I was talking about. But we got it up, so we'll have to clean that stuff off. Let me clean this up, stick everything back in there, and just kind of see what's happening. That's the why it's not going down. Uh, I think the first thing I'm going to do, or what I'm going to do before doing that, would be to try that knob. this knob on this and see what the problem is because it could be that we need either a new shaft no that's kind of working 
Yeah, that's working. Kind of. Stop at some point, please. Yeah, there we go. So I went all the way down. There's a little bit of crack, a little bit of cracking happening on this knob, but that's not the reason it's doing what, what it was doing earlier. So let's go ahead and get these stuck back in. Just in their raw form without cleaning them off too much. Just to see what happens. see if it fits. I mean, I think that'll be all right, honestly. It's not the most perfect one, but it's not that bad. All right, let's take it out and see what happens when we do it. Stayed in. All right, so let's clean that part off. Let's try this knob again. Could it be the wrong knob? Could it be the knob is just messed up inside? Because it's still happening. So let's assume it's probably the knob and replace that. So give me one sec. I'm going to grab a replacement one. What was it? 56, 52, 52, 52. Let's see if this makes a difference. Somehow it either feels or looks off. Let's see. Yeah, that works. That works. All right, it was as simple as a replacement drag knob. So it may not be interesting for you guys to watch this. But hey, thanks for watching. If you found the video useful, please hit that thumbs up button. Uh, consider subscribing to the channel, and I will see you guys next time. Take care.